This is Laura Clark coming to you from Jerry's Music. So let's talk a little bit about multiple tonguing. Multiple tonguing uh, goes on the concept that if you do one thing over and over, you can get work up to a particular speed. So single tonguing, two, 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 or do, 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 or do, 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 whatever syllable you like to use for articulation, you can do that up to a certain speed. But if you alternate back and forth with two places of contact, you can go faster. And so to facilitate this past tonguing, we do what we call double tonguing. The first syllable's in the front, behind the teeth, where you normally tongue, to, do, do. The second syllable is arching the tongue to make a K sound or a G sound. Some people use do 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 some people use do 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 and that's, you'll find out what works for you by experimenting. So if I make that T sound, I do that a thousand times a day, no problem. But just to make the K skip sound, I don't do that very often. So that's something I like to isolate. And just go coo until they sound the same. So let's do a K scale. You'll see posted here an exercise where I'm going to go coo, rest, coo, rest, coo, and you can go down a major scale, chromatic scale, whatever you have time for in that old small one. And what I'm trying to do is make that coo sound just like my two. So that no conductor will ever say to me, you should double tongue or you shouldn't double tongue that. They shouldn't know. It should sound the same. At first, you'll probably get. That's okay. You don't have yet the control of keeping the lips sealed and in place while you use the K. After you've gotten it more refined to where you're happy with the coup, then you can do an exercise alternating. Two, 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 rest. Two, coo, two, coo, two. And you may find that you have to push a little harder on the Ks, almost feel like you're accenting them to make them equal to your first uh, initial attack. So these are Ts. All Ts, now alternating. If you need to at first accenting to get more on the K. Gradually speeding that up. So that's alternating T T T T T T K T K T. And you'll find then that you have control. What we don't want to have happen is to say, oh, the conductor changed his or her mind, they went faster there or slower there, and it was too slow for my double tongue, but it was too fast for my single tongue. First of all, you need an overlap, and there should never be a place that's too slow for your double tongue. You could, you could do a K on a whole exercise, and so nothing is too slow for that double tongue. Now, triple tonguing is the extension of that, when you have a triplet figure, you'll want to use three syllables. The problem is we don't have three syllables, we only have two. So most people use two T's and a K, either T, T, K, or again, these could be D's and G's, D, D, G, or put the K or the G in the middle, ta, ka, ta, or da, ga, da. I did actually know one trumpet teacher who taught K, K, T, K, K, T, uh, but he wasn't famous. <laughs> So if I'm going to do, I, I use both, actually. I cultivate both TTK and TKT. I find I can do one or a, an isolated uh, TTK a little cleaner, a little faster. But I can go tuck it tuck it tuck it for a long time and not get tongue tied. So that I, I cultivate both of those when I'm doing triple tongue. Again, those are just ways to have something extra in your bag of tricks so that when the music goes fast and has tonguing, you can manage. Now, what we've been doing is 
multiple tonguing on one note, but you should also learn to multiple tongue on a scale. So that if a passage is called calls for moving notes, you're again not stuck only with as fast as your single tongue can go. Don't forget, however, to keep using a skill sheet and move up with the metronome, move up your single tongue speed as well, so you'll never get caught.